welcome to this class. In this session, we are going to do the analysis of an ellipse whose uh, center is the origin and the major axis along the x-axis. That's what we call uh, the horizontal ellipse. So uh, the heading, horizontal ellipse. When you say horizontal, you mean that the major axis is horizontal. So this is what, or this is how the <laughs> graph looks like. So center zero, zero. And then major axis. on x-axis. So we have this. So let's draw the curve. So this is uh, the horizontal ellipse, and then this is what you're calling the center. Unless I call this point the focus, this other one to the focus. So label this one as, so this is one or another V. This is another V. So this is a V, a B, this is another B. So let's call this one V2. This vertex V2. These are the vertex call it V1. Let's call this focus F1. Let's call this focus F2. Let's call this one, uh, this core vertex call it B1. This another one, this other one called it B2. Then the distance from the set, so this way you have the center, the origin, x axis. This is our y axis. So the coordinates of B1 are the first thing that the equation of this ellipse is x squared over a squared minus uh, plus y squared over b squared equals to one. This is the equation of this horizontal ellipse whose center is at the origin. And then know that the distance from the center to any of the core vertices is b units. So this distance here is B units. This distance here is also B units. So therefore the coordinates of the uh, core vertex will be given by zero comma B, and this other one will be zero comma minus B. And then distance from center to any of the foci is C units. So therefore F2 will be minus C zero. This other one will be C zero. And the distance from the center to the vertices is A units. So the coordinates of this one will be A comma zero. This other one will be minus A comma zero. And then on an ellipse, <laughs> this is what we call eccentricity. So eccentricity is the ratio, so given by E, is the ratio C over A, where C is a distance from center 
to a focus. And A is distance from center. To a vertex. So this is how we define eccentricity for actually this is a formula general for any of the conic section. Uh, distance from the focus over distance uh, or distance of the center from the vertex. And for eccentricity, this number must always be less than one. When you work out this ratio, uh, E for an ellipse must always be less than one. So uh, C is given by, so another thing that you have to uh, know in this one is that the distance A is always greater than C and B squared is the same as A squared minus C squared. So you can always find C from this uh, by saying C, you can always get as, uh, either A, B or C from this formula. So we can say C, is equals to a squared minus b squared. So this is the relationship between a, b, and c for an ellipse. Now, uh, when you draw a line passing through this foci, then such a line is called lattice rectangle. So lattice rectum is the perpendicular line to the major axis passing through the focus. So this is another lattice rectum. So uh, let's call this ends of the two lines. Uh, let's call this one M1. Let's call this one M2. And let's call this one N1, call this other end N2. So we are interested in knowing the coordinates of N1, N2, and also you can be asked to find the length of this lines uh, M1, M2, or N1, N2. Now, you know that the equation which governs this curve is given by x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals to one. So uh, to know the coordinates of n1 and n2, uh, we'll use this coordinates of f1. So f1 has coordinates c comma zero, and the equation we have x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals to one. You see here, on this line, because it's a perpendicular line to the x axis, then x value is not changing. So therefore, n1, x value is still c, and also here, x value is still c. Similarly, on this line, x value here is minus c, x value here is minus c. So, the only problem that we have is y value. So replacing that one for x, so we can say uh, this y squared over b squared equals to one minus x squared over a squared. But then the value of c is, uh, the value of x is c. So we can say y squared over b squared equals to one minus c squared over b squared, uh, over a squared. So which means then uh, y squared, uh, this you can say, if you put under an LCM, so you have a squared, a squared minus c squared. And you see, we have said that a squared minus c squared is b squared. So uh, you say y squared over b squared equals to b squared 
over a squared. And so uh, this is the same thing as saying y squared equals to b power four multiplied through by b over a squared. And then to get y, you get the square root on both sides. So this means that y equals to plus or minus b squared over a. So the value of y is plus or minus b squared over a. So it means at the top here, we'll have b squared over a. And then down here, we have minus b squared over a. Actually, if you do the same thing, this coordinate c minus c zero, you get the same values. So here we'll have b squared over a. And then this one is b squared over a. So if you're asked to give the ends of the lattice that come for an ellipse of this kind, you should be able to give this uh, coordinates. And then, so because now we know that from this point to this point is b squared over a, then the length of this line n1 and 2 or m1 and 2 will be simply given by b squared over a times 2. So therefore, you say length of lattice rectum is given by twice b squared over a. So this is how we find the length of lattice rectum for an ellipse. Uh, an ellipse of this orientation. And then uh, length of major axis of major axis. Now we have said major axis is actually the distance from one vertex to another vertex. And because the distance from the center to any of the vertices is A units. So from here to here is A, from here to here is A. So 2A, 2A units. And length of minor axis will be given by the length from B1 to B2. So the line joining the endpoints of the core vertices. And since from this center to any B1 is B units, this to this is B units, so there'll be 2B. So that gives us 2B. So that is how we analyze uh, the horizontal ellipse whose center is 0, 0, and then uh, major, ax uh, major axis is on the X axis. And this next session will be analyzing an ellipse whose center is the origin and uh, major axis along the y axis. So thank you.